Since the beginning of agriculture, farmers have battled a common enemy, weeds. While the tools used to fight weeds have evolved, so have the weeds. And some of them are really difficult to get rid of. So how do we deal with these so-called super weeds? Give it a minute. Unlike some super villains, super weeds aren't the result of lab accidents. Just as some bacteria are no longer affected by certain medicines, some weeds have naturally evolved and adapted, and are no longer affected by certain herbicides. Globally, there are over 450 unique cases of weeds resistant to various herbicides. Here's how this may happen. When a farmer uses a herbicide, there's a chance some weeds will naturally survive. Over the years, surviving weeds reproduce, increasing the resistant portion of the population, which makes the overall weed population harder to control. When these bad guys show up, they steal water, light, and nutrients, destroying billions of dollars worth of food. This affects farmers and consumers too. If farmers use the same herbicide to control resistant weeds without trying other methods, they won't take down this menace. The key to preventing resistance is using a variety of tools and practices. These may include different herbicides, crop rotation, cover crops, and tillage. And no weed, no matter how super, is resistant to all of these approaches. That's a lot to cover in a minute.